Neymar agrees to propose deal with PSG. Barcelona Vice President Jordi Mester has said he is 200% convinced that Neymar will not move on amid reports that the Brazilian is unhappy enough to approve a move to Paris Saint-Germain. Mester addressed the transfer rumors on Tuesday at a news conference and echoed what a Barcelona spokesman said a day earlier, that Barcelona are confident that Neymar will stay. I'm 200% sure that he is going to stay, Mester said. I've read information in the French press that PSG themselves have categorically denied it, a club with whom we are maintaining absolutely normal relations. Nothing has changed in that aspect. Despite Mester's insistence, shortly after he spoke a report emerged from Brazilian outlet Esport Interativo that claimed Neymar had accepted an offer from PSG, who would trigger his release clause in a world record transfer worth €222 million. Euros. All this comes after reports in Spain said on Monday that PSG were ready to pay the huge buyout to land Neymar, following a report in Sport that the player is feeing his development at Barcelona is being stifled by Lionel Messi. Also on Tuesday, French newspaper El Equipe cited a PSG source as saying that the French club were not interested in dealing with Neymar again after talks a year ago ended on a sour note. We're not going to repeat the Neymar show, there is a huge release clause and you have to be realistic, the source was quoted as saying. The Spain report said Neymar would be in line to earn €30 million Euros a year in Paris after linking up with international teammates Dani Alves, Diego Silva, and Lucas Moura. Manchester United and Manchester City also are credited with interest, although it is claimed the size of the transfer fee could present a problem, even for them. Match with Barcelona. You buying that? I mean, anything's possible. I think they reported within context that it happened Thursday. I'm pretty sure it didn't happen Thursday because you're not going to be able to keep something like that under wraps when you go and you announce it to an entire uh, dressing room. But, I mean, whatever the case is, from Barcelona's perspective, they're certainly prepared. Um, I think there are people who are still hoping that he's going to change his mind. But, uh, you know, at this point, there's nothing Barcelona can really give him other than more affection. It's not going to be about, you know, yet another contract or more power or whatever. If he's made this decision, you know, Barcelona won before his arrival. They won while he was there. They'll win again once he's gone. You talk about affection. If it's going to be about affection, then it has to be the leadership of this team. It's got to be Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez, Gerard Piqué that go to Neymar time and time again and beg Neymar to stay. Now, I don't know whether that's in play. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if that will work. But I tell you what's not going to work. It's not Bartomeu talking to Neymar that is going to work. He's not going to get through him. So if you're a Barcelona fan, you're hoping that there is an upset here because the upset result would be for Neymar to stay right. at this point. Okay. There's another element to this, too. Mm -hmm. I, it's, you know, put sort of you know, put, put the emotion aside. I don't think there's any sane person who believes that Neymar is actually worth 222 million euros. It's a quarter of a billion dollars. So if you're smart about it and if you're Barcelona, you know what? We're it's a plan in the works that if Neymar is going to walk out the door, Barcelona has to have answers already. And I don't know that we can trust Barcelona to do that given the recent history, because the history of what we saw last season is guys like Andre Gomez that did not really pan out. We're not Barcelona players. Denis Suarez, is, is, is that the guy that is going to help you out? No, I just don't, don't think that Barcelona at this point, it, it just feels like they're in a transition period and they're not, they don't know whether they're coming or going. Meantime, Real Madrid is flying, loading up, flying. Loading up. They get rid of James Rodriguez and somehow they get stronger. Dani Ceballos, they pick him out of the U21 European Championship. You got Marco Asensio still coming up. Isco still part of this team. Talk of Kylian Mbappe coming in. All these names are coming in. Not many going out. It seems like Real Madrid is moving in one direction and Barcelona is kind of standing still. We just showed you the numbers, the most expensive transfers in history. This would almost double it. And yet one of our colleagues, Hercules Gomez, came out and said it was good business. It was a good deal. It was a bargain for PSG. How is that possible? I don't think it's a bargain for PSG, but by the same token, you know, PSG is in a very particular situation, right? So they have these very wealthy owners. They came in with these extremely ambitious plans. They spent a lot of money, but they really want to go to the next level. The next level means competing for Champions League. And they went, and it means that they're going out and they're getting the best player in the world that they can realistically get, because Messi and Cristiano are not realistic. 
Um, and that puts them in the map on a big way. That's a big statement. On top of that, they evidently sold Neymar on their idea, on their project. I, I don't think it's just about money. I think it's, it's commercial. I think it's about growing the brand. I think that's a really big statement for them. In some ways, I don't think he's worth 222 million euros, but PSG can make it work. And I think it was important for them. Sometimes you need to overpay to, to get where you want to be. A bargain? Is that what Hercules said? That's what Hercules uh, said. Bargain. Where, where, where is he shopping? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Are you kidding me? Look, Neymar, as Gab said, you could argue is the third best player in the world. Right. You're not going to go after Ronaldo because you can't get him. You're not going to go after Messi because you can't get him. So then you go after Neymar and then you're willing to open up and say, this is what we're going to pay. This is what it's going to cost. So be it. But if you are PSG, you better make sure that you have a balance to this team. Because it's great to have all these pieces and all the attacking talent and all the Brazilian players. quotes it must be said from their coach Unai Emery has come out and said look if we want to be competing for the Champions League we've got to basically have a top five player Alexis Sanchez Mbappe and Neymar were after all of them there, there was no I don't want to talk about players who are at other clubs he yeah. just steamrolled <laughs> into the china shop and broke the whole thing and it's weird because it's not even what you expect given uh, Emery's 
personality. Uh, so much of this idea that this is Jettles agreement where we pretend not to talk about other players and so on. Um, I think they're making their, in their intentions known. I think they really believe that they have a shot at Neymar. Um, they evidently have been convinced that this is not just Neymar angling for more money and a better deal with Paris Saint with uh, Barcelona. I mean, he only got it a year ago. And they're coming out and they're stating their, their intentions. Personally, I like that honesty. I, I mm. hate this thing where they all have to pretend and then the minute the cameras stop rolling, you know, clubs get on the phone with agents and say, like, can you get them to do this or that? Is this not tapping up? What does that mean? Tapping up is this thing that's a silly thing that was invented in England. I mean, I, th this is not, you know, we're, it's, it's in, we're in the off season. Um, every club does this. Every club normally acts to intermediaries. Uh, it's not as if Emery's showing up on Neymar's boat and saying, like, you know, putting his arm around him and being like, you know, Look, that. you know, hello. Um, but, you know, this is the real world. He's saying this is a target. We're ambitious. And we're, we're basically, basically going to confirm what's been in the papers for the past week. Is he right, Shaq? If he gets one of those three players, could PSG win the Champions League? Is it as simple as that? Uh, no, I don't think it's as simple as getting one of those players and everything else remaining you see and PSG go on and, and win the Champions League but it is about building a club that everybody wants to come to and, and I think having one of those five players is a step in, in that direction so it, you, I, I understand the sentiment and as a matter of fact I, I fully agree with it now the question is um, how, how do they get one of those players I mean all they talk about PSG is about Neymar and in excess of, of, of 220 million euros. I mean, that is, is simply farcical, especially with everything else that, that's kind of going on in the game and the other rules that PSG, you suppose, have to abide by.